Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Privacy Month with Trident Group. Last week I told you all about how the California Privacy Rights Act goes into effect July 1st. So let's dive into it and get into a little bit more detail about the CPRA. Number one, the CPRA is introducing a new category of sensitive personal information. This includes items like social security numbers, driver's license numbers, passport numbers, precise geolocation, racial, ethnic origins, religious beliefs, and biometric information. In addition to that, businesses must provide notice to consumers if their information is used for a significantly different purpose than was originally disclosed. They're also required to implement, quote, reasonable security practices and procedures to protect personal information. And finally, the CPRA gives greater rights to consumers. Consumers now have the right to correct inaccurate information as well as limit the use and disclosure of that sensitive personal information we talked about before. But what does this all mean for you? Why should you care? Well, the most immediate consequence of violating the CPRA, whether voluntary or involuntary, are the fines and penalties. For unintentional violations that are not rectified within 30 days, you'll be fined $2,500 per violation. If they are intentional violations, it's up to $7,500 per violation. And notably, fines are tripled if the violation involves the personal information of a minor. So what are you doing to protect the personal information of your consumers? That's a topic that the Trident Group team loves to tackle. So let's get on a call this week and talk about that together. All right, everybody. Happy Tuesday.